Welcome to another episode. This time we're going to do a quick tour of our R Pod 192. Since we've switched to this trailer, it has been great. One of the things I did was I moved the batteries to inside. There'll be a shot of that a little later. Um, just wanted to upgrade that. I also upgraded our pass through storage locks to barrel keys, and keys are required on both sides now. One of the things I did inside there, um, there'll be a shot of it here in just a second, is I upgraded our water system, got rid of all the braided lines and upgraded everything to PEX. And in so, so doing, I also added a dual filter residential style water filter system for the trailer. And both the fresh water tank and city water hookups go through these filters before they go through the rest of the trailer. And we just wanted a nice, quality water filter system for our trailer uh, with all the places we travel. Another thing I added on was a small box. This is a pretty easy uh, project I did and it holds both of my hoses and all my hose fittings for the sewer connections and it's so nice to have its own place. It uh, shuts up nice, uh, keeps them well contained. It was really easy to uh, use the first time I used it. Also made my own uh, chocks for the tires. Being a single axle, we added TPMS to the tires, which it did not come from the factory with. And I added bug screens on every opening I could find to, to help protect our, our investment here. Again, we've really, really enjoyed this trailer since we've switched to it. Uh, it tows so much nicer behind the truck. Uh, the fuel mileage has increased. We just did a trip from our place over a mountain pass to the valley, and uh, we were getting 12 to 13 miles to the gallon towing the trailer, which our old trailer was unheard of. We did upgrade the folding entry handle didn't really care for the the folding style we found this online really like this it feels better in the hand one of the upgrades I did is I also took some plywood that's two layers of three quarter inch plywood and made pads for all of our stabilizers and for the tongue jack I made one that's three uh, sheets of plywood thick we also upgraded to these lock arms on our stabilizers on the front pad here I've got uh, one going each direction on the rear. We have them going from side to side. It is amazing how much that improves the stability of the trailer. And this is a quick shot of the upgrade to the PEX and the batteries, which are now underneath the couch. And here we go inside. So I figured we could show the things we've done to modify it, what we like and what we don't like. So in the bathroom, one of the things we like is there is a ton of storage back here. We have a big cabinet. It's a big mess, but we added the drawers, uh, very easy to do. And then we have a spot there for baskets so we can have things ready and just bring them in and put them in. Lots of storage though. Up above we have our laundry. This is dual purpose because it helps hold the laundry there while we're traveling and then we can put it in the shower if we have something that we need to hang up to dry. Love the fact that it has a window and that the window opens. One of my favorite things. There's a good amount of storage underneath the sink. The sink is tiny. The biggest problem with the sink is the faucet is so far against the wall it's hard to turn the faucet on and your hands have to be literally crammed up against the side to wash them so we hope to change the faucet at some point to help that um, it didn't have a mirror which I thought was stupid I thought they could have at least glued a mirror on the wall but because they didn't we Keith built this little medicine cabinet 
and mounted it on there. So that's really nice. So we have our shower, which is actually bigger than the one that we had in the mini light, which is nice. Gives Keith especially more elbow room. Um, not a fan of the shower curtain, partly because it's not long enough. So it doesn't actually meet the wall. So that's an issue, something I'm gonna have to fix in the future. We also had to do caulking around the bottom of the tub or the, the base and we added the corner shower things which Keith had to modify so that it doesn't dribble over the edge or leak back behind. But otherwise, oh, we also had changed the shower head. Um, that's the one we had gotten to put in the rockwood and when we traded it in we pulled it out of the rockwood and put it in here. Swap them. Then we have our pantry which is good size. Um, it's not quite as big as the one in the Rockwood. I think the shelves are about one inch shorter and I think it's two or three inches narrower, but it's pretty close. Um, we did reinforce the shelves because of course it's the little weenie stuff. So Keith um, got some plywood and um, painted it, fit it in there. The edges are nice and sturdy. It's just the center part that was saggy. So that works really well. Um, we love the light color. That's one of the things we love the most about it and the windows. So there's lots of light in here. Love having the dinette again. Um, there is storage underneath. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with all of it, but we have little containers so we can put some things in. And of course there's storage on both sides. Um, let's see, so our cabinets, we have plenty of space up above. And I love that it has the frosted windows, so you can't necessarily see in there, but it helps it feel light and airy because it's clearish. Um, our fridge and freezer. These are, it's, it's six cubic feet. We had eight in the Rockwood. The funny thing is the freezer is actually larger than the other one that we had. So that's an adjustment to get used to, but it's worked fine so far. And then we have storage over the stove area. These are containers that Keith had made for the Rockwood and they fit in here perfect. And this makes it really nice. I can easily reach whatever we need to get out. If you need a bowl, you can get a bowl. Or if you have to pull the whole container out, it's all contained um, and we have cutting boards, leftover containers, and then spices and seasonings. So that all fits very nicely. Um, one of the things we did was add a hook because there's mini blinds over this window and you always have that string hanging in the way. So keep added a hook there. We also added the backsplash. The rest of the walls is just like this with warning stickers that you're going to blow up your trailer if you use your propane. So. We put backsplash because that looks much nicer and should be easier to keep clean. And this is a convection microwave, which we've actually used as an oven several times. Works really nicely it's on the small side, but it works. And there's a good bit of storage down here. I think the only thing we modified down here is the board in the back to protect the plumbing. We discovered it could be moved about three inches but further back, and so we moved that back a little further just to give a little more space. The biggest modification in the kitchen is this had originally just a black cover that covered it all, and there was no extension, um, which means there's no counter space, which was a big concern for us because we pretty much cook all of our meals from scratch. So we had planned to do the extension, and it is removable. And as we were doing that, I mentioned to Keith that I wish that they had made the cover with a cutout so that you could still use your faucet while you had counter space. And so we did some measuring and figuring and he modified this so that I can be working on stuff here and still have water. Love that. So far, this has worked really well. We haven't obviously done a five month trip, but the little bit that we've done in here, it seems to work well and I think it will be um, adequate. Um, 
So for the bed area, um, it is a Murphy bed, so it will fold up and latch. And then this is the sofa that's underneath. It's just a little jackknife sofa. Underneath that, there's more open storage. It had had nets across there that you could like push down and put things behind, but we found them to be difficult. So we're gonna make some bins to put in there to store things. We haven't figured out what yet. Um, on the side, there's, it looks like this great big cabinet, but then it was just this teeny little pocket. However, again, we discovered there's more space back there behind the access panel. So Keith actually cut out the access panel and moved it further back so that it gives us more storage there than what it came with. And that's on both sides. And then we have our hanging storage. I love the fact that it has the lights. That makes a really nice ambiance, night light sort of thing if you have all the other lights off. The grandkids love that. Um, they both have plugs and um, what are those stupid things? USB. Called? USB, yes. USB outlets. So you can both have your phones charging or whatever. So the hanging storage isn't fantastic. Um, Keith found he doesn't hang his stuff at all. And so we have, he actually removed his bottle. Mine come out a lot easier than yours do. Anyway, we got these bins to sort clothes into and they do actually come out fairly easy. And I still have the bar in mine and I have three bins instead of four. So I can still hang a scarf or something up there if I want to. The fourth bin is a little harder to get in and out. The rest are really, really easy. Yeah, mine with three, it's a piece of cake. Um, we love the front window, not the fact just that it's the window, but it also has, um, it, it's the European style. So it opens all the way up and then it has the screen that pulls down for the daytime if you have it open and then you have a privacy shade that comes up that's light walking. And then back behind there's little cubbies for books or your purse or whatever camera or whatever you want to put back there keep handy at night. And let's see, we added command strip hooks on the wall for our jackets and this for our broom because there didn't seem to be a good spot for our broom. And we put the paper towel folder up over there. Go show them your wood stove. Oh yes, my stove. So uh, one of the things that I was going to miss the most with the mini light was I loved having the stove um, or the furnace, whatever you want to call it. Electric fire fireplace. fireplace yes. So we actually went and bought this little fireplace from Lowe's. I think it was 99 bucks or something like that. 69 bucks, wasn't it? I think it was 70. I think it was $69. So when we have electricity, I can plug it in and I still have a little fireplace, um, which I absolutely love. And then it stores right next to the bed. We also store the garbage can over there. So yes, between the fireplace and the garbage can and the extension, I can't really walk around the bed, which I would be able to otherwise, but it works really well for storing there. And so I just climb up on the bed. I'm not climbing over you, so that works really well. And I think that that is all of the modifications that we have done at this point. And I don't think we have much left that we want to do. I know we need to do the shower curtain. What else? Is there anything else in here? I think that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed our tour and um, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.